But anyway, it's another channel. Uh, yeah, Pimpin, I hopped in, I hopped in your chat. Uh, yeah, motherfucker took my right. Yeah, motherfucker took my right. Uh, yeah. Didn't fuck me up, just kind of surprised me a little bit, like, okay. Listen, brother, um, not gonna call your name, man, because I don't do weird shit like that. Um, nah, but sometimes people, name do need to be called out, so I'm not gonna say it's weird. Sometimes people do, do need to, uh, be called out. But nah, I ain't gonna call you out, bro. Uh, you know who you are. Um, you probably a listener, cause, because a, a lot of people that don't like you will listen to you. Yeah. A lot, a lot of times it's like this, so. Um, yeah, bro, uh, yeah, you took my rank, shout out to you, uh, <laughs> listen, uh, you ain't gotta worry about me having back in your chat, pimpin', uh, I get the message, uh, I understand you're a diehard tank supporter, and I know a lot of tank fans are mad at me, uh, I know I've lost many of followers for shit, I said, listen, I'm gonna lose more followers, because I'm not in this thing to buddy up, and I'm not in this thing to be a certain motherfucker. And a lot of you motherfuckers will be whoever you gotta be. I told you, uh, black men are the prostitutes of America. I told you it used to be black women that just say, you gotta do what you gotta do to get that money, baby. Nah, that's what black men say. Yeah, man, but, 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 shit, shit, he getting the bag. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, it's a lot of shit. You, you can say, uh, man, what's that rapper, Bam Man Kibo, that got liposuction surgery? It's a lot of brothers that are saying, man, I don't give a fuck about that. He getting that bag, though. So, yeah, but I didn't want to stay on that long. But yeah, 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 um, that's something I noticed, and it's just something. It, it's sad, bro. Um, yeah, it'd be a difference if I dissed you or if I fucked with you or I did something to you. And nah, I just called out your fighter. And yeah, you, you, you yeah, you snatched my right <laughs> You motherfuckers petty, bro. You know, you know how petty you gotta be to take a man rank just for his opinion. Yeah, that took my rank. Yeah, you motherfuckers ain't shit, boy. You motherfuckers ain't shit. But anyway, let me get out there. Oh, uh, nothing I want to address about you tank motherfuckers. Because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, tank, tank fans are the worst fans. Um, I said Mexicans are the best fans, but they're the worst fans. At this point, I think black fans are the worst fans. I think we're the worst fans in boxing because we have the most powerful voice, but we don't realize it. Um, I, let me tell you something. Wilder still has a huge fan base. Motherfuckers ride with Wilder. But um, Spence, um, I see a lot of two-sided shit. A lot of Spence fans have, have converted to uh, Tank fans. You know, Spence still got a lot of fans. Spence, Spence, Spence a star, but I'm just watching this. I'm watching how I see motherfuckers that used to do nothing but talk about Spence and roll with Spence to the wheels fall off. And a lot of you motherfuckers did. Y'all don't talk about Spence? Um, yeah. And a lot of you motherfuckers converted to tank because you want to know why? Um, a lot of times us as content creators, we just look for what's hot. We we we, we take our thoughts out of we we scared to say what we really feel. A lot of times we just ride whatever wave that we think gonna get the most views. That's what we do. And so, a lot of brothers have left Spence, and that's why that's why like I said, um, and some of the same people that say Bud is ducking and roll with Spence and said Bud was ducking and Bud better not. Bro, let me tell you something. Tank won't even acknowledge Devin. All he say is, I got more money than you, and you don't sell. Imagine if every time they ask uh, Bud about Spence, he don't, he ain't shit. Sure. I got more money than him, uh, and don't talk about the fight. You motherfuckers demanded that Bud respond and fight Spence. Um, Devin and Tank ain't never even winning negotiations. A Tank won't acknowledge it, bro. Let me tell you what's fake about boxing. I watch Mark Kriegel, I watch Showtime, I watch Espinosa, I watch all these promoters say, Ryan, Ryan deserves this fight. He shows that if you really want to fight, you can make it happen. He called for it, and he called out Tank until he accepted. He the only one that done it. Bro, Devin Haney called out Tank aggressive. Devin Haney has called out Tank over 20 times before Ryan ever called him out. Tank didn't acknowledge it, so when you say a fighter can get 
he can he can get to fighting his dreams and if you just go for it and you believe in yourself. Devin done it. He didn't get the acknowledgement because you want to know what's fake about fans. It, it becomes a joke when Devin call him out. Oh man, ain't nobody worried about it. You ain't got no power with this and that. You get to talking about what you don't got. And ain't no dish towards Ryan. Ryan eating completely off his plate and nobody got a problem with it. But when it comes to Devin, it's it, it it, it's different energy. It's different energy. He's annoying. Yeah, you motherfuckers are annoyed with Devin Haney. Um, and, you know, so Shakur called out Devin. And this is my thoughts on that. Um, at this point, I want Devin, just, Devin and Shakur to go and fight. Because if Tank ain't going to fight neither one of y'all, yeah, go and mix it up. But I see the, I see the play. Um, motherfuckers finna hold Devin feet to the fire, boy. Boy, if Devin don't respond immediately, you motherfuckers finna do ducking videos and all that stuff. It's a duck. Why didn't a duck that Tank won't acknowledge Devin? Why didn't a duck that Tevin, Tank ain't never said, man, me and Devin a big fight. Me and Devin, that's a hell of a fight. But guess what you say when they ask you about Monster in a way? That's a dream fight. A motherfucker that said 122. A motherfucker that's on at 122 and ain't never showed you here, huge star. They didn't ask you about cool boy. They didn't ask you because that ain't a dream fight to you. So uh, I'm just noticing it. I'm just noticing it. Um, yeah, the energy changes and um, it's like we we went from Devin the Tank to Ness. It's like. <coughs> It's almost the Canelo, uh, it, it reminds me of Canelo fans. Remember when uh, Canelo said, y'all just fight each other and I'll fight the winner? Uh, why you didn't make Ryan fight uh, Devin and tell him if you be Devin, then I'll fight you. If you got to be Shakur, then I'll fight you. Ryan didn't have to do shit. Ryan fought Emmanuel Tago and Fortuna before the tank fight. You didn't never give him no stipulations of what he had to do. You bit on it like a hoe in Harlem. In the 70s. We ain't going to talk about that, though. We ain't going to talk about that. Like I said, a lot of you motherfuckers switch fighters. You motherfuckers switch fighters. <laughs> you motherfuckers switch fighters, bro. I'm watching you motherfuckers. And at this point, um, let me say this about Espinosa, though. Espinosa, I, I, I peeped a lot of things about you, bro. Um, you, 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 you add fuel to these, a lot of these delusional ass fans. When they ask you about Spence and Crow, when they ask you about Ryan and Tank, your eyes get bucked like a fucking thing. Like a, like a thing. Um, when they ask you about Spence and Crow, for boy, you look exhausted like you just took a 12 hour flight. Oh my god, I just don't, oh uh, yeah, but don't get your hopes up, cause it may not happen. We was this far last time and it didn't happen. It's like you, you wanna, you want to push the narrative that we are so tired of Spence versus Crop. You know what, fans? If you motherfuckers was really stand up and you still for anything in life, you'd be tired of a lot of shit. A lot of you motherfuckers, a lot of you motherfuckers need to be tired of a lot of shit. You need to be tired of your boss on the job kicking your ass and then leave me and stand on your ass. It's a lot of shit. You motherfuckers need to get tired of your woman creeping out on you and you know she fucking a uh, goddamn Earl. And yeah, so it's a lot of shit you motherfuckers need to be tired of. Uh, fear reducing ooze. It's a lot of shit. Better be even bigger. Still ain't happening. It's a lot of shit we should be tired of in boxing. And in life. So don't act like you motherfuckers are so fed up with Spence versus Crawford. So, um, let me tell you what else Espinosa said. Espinosa said, Keith Thurman and, uh, Earl, I, I, this, 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 how, this how disgusting boxing is. Espinosa just said what I've been telling you motherfuckers. Remember Tim Smith, the speaker for, um, uh, PBC came out and said, uh, Bud and Spence won't, uh, we don't know what the numbers like. And ever since then, fans and content creators have said this is not a big fight. It, it wasn't until PBC C said it ain't. So, but you know what PBC ain't never said? They ain't never said uh, Earl Spence versus Keith Thurman. We don't know what the numbers gonna do. <coughs> Even Espinosa said Earl uh, versus Keith Thurman is just as big of a fight as Spence versus Crawford. Bro, you want dope and dog food. Keith Thurman is a very good fight. Bro, boxing want to see Spence versus Crawford. Boxing ain't, listen, <coughs> Spence versus Keith will sell because Keith, Keith sells and, and it, yeah, it's going to sell. And it's, you can't compare Keith Thurman to no fucking uh, Terrence Crawford. I'm tired of the fucking disrespect. 
The way the way a lot of you motherfuckers have disrespected crowd. A lot of you motherfuckers really like Crawford. A lot of you motherfuckers deep in your heart. Deep you motherfuckers really love Crawford. You just wanna push a nerd and a lot of you motherfuckers just you just wanna hop on a bandwagon. So I stand on my thoughts and what I think. Like I said, that's why I told you, I'm so glad I'm not a blood no more. Because I don't got no, no motherfucker speak, ain't no speaker, uh, none of that shit. I'm the speaker, I'm the president, I'm the chief. Yeah, I'm the HNIC over here at 903 Boxer, and I say what I want. My, my thoughts are not led by no motherfucker's opinion. Uh, this is strictly just what I think. So, I think fans are the fakest. Black fans in particular. Black fans are the pro, you know, just, bro, it, it, it just ain't enough bananas in the world to feed you motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you, it, it just ain't enough bananas. You know, I was looking at the orangutan versus the silverback last night. Yeah, and I was looking at their strengths and weaknesses and shit like that. And I, as I watched that orangutan swing from that goddamn tree with that banana in his mouth, uh, them motherfuckers got way more sense than a lot of you motherfuckers out here. They got, they got way more sense and unity and togetherness than a lot of you baboons out here. And I just gotta point that shit out because let me t hold on, let me point this out. I'm so glad I remember this. When Fondora beat L Lubin, and Lubin showed heart and fought a hell of a fight, he just fought the wrong style. But anyway, that shit was viral. Lubin's face and him being swollen up and all that shit, that shit was viral. Let me tell you something. Uh, Fondora getting knocked out last night was way more epic than that shit with Lubin. Man, that motherfucker was out on his feet. That's arguably the knockout of the year. That shit ain't gonna go viral. That shit is not gonna viral. They're they not gonna make no meme about Fondor. They made a meme about Lubin. Many black countries. We made memes about Lubin. Lubin's face is viral. Everybody know that how his face was swollen and shit. And that shit was fucked up. Because he did look like Martin after he fought Tommy Hearns. Remember that episode? But anyway, um, we ain't gonna make no meme. What it do, what it do is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles Jack. Listen, man, I ain't got much. Um, that was just a little reminder to a lot of you motherfuckers. Uh, in case you forget, in case you get a little amnesia. Uh, yeah, I'm, I just got a few minutes. I just, I don't want to take up your time too much. Uh, first and foremost, um, okay, how we gonna, how we gonna start this off? Um, uh, Shakur. And tank, um, fans, uh, seem to have come together with an agreement. Um, I, and you know what? Um, I, I, I played this video because I predicted this shit. I told you, uh, the world was gonna get on Div and ass and tell him you better respond, even though he got a fight coming up. He ain't even fought Loma yet, but I told you, motherfuckers. The smoke is there. Devin better respond. And I saw you. I saw all you motherfuckers. Just wanted to let you motherfuckers know I saw you. And I predicted what you uh, was going to do. Because I'm going to tell you something. As much as I watch um, yeah, Animal Planet and all these uh, National Geographic uh, television shows, I can predict what a monkey going to do. All you got to do is watch his habits. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. But I just want to give you a story, and I'm going to get out this motherfucker. Uh, this reminds me of when I was a blood. I'm going to admit something to you that I, I wouldn't admit it when I was a blood. Uh, I, felt like a, uh, I felt like a coward, bro, because, you know, the Crips was our enemies, but the GDs low-key was riding with them, bro, and we never addressed that shit. Yeah, they even had a handshake. See, the Crips and the GDs used to do a little handshake where they throw the five down. Yeah, some shit like that. And I always thought we as Bloods was soft that we never smashed the GDs. I, I just wanted to be honest, just want to throw that out there. Yeah, we used to let we used to let them secretly unite instead of riding on both of them. Yeah, and telling them motherfuckers if I see you throw the fight. Because I actually, at this time, but I was young, I was 19 at the time. I hollered at some bloods. I'm like, come when I first saw that shit, I said, bro, you see the GDs and Crips throwing the fire down? We gonna let that shit ride, bro? He was like, yeah, man, that's their handshake. They be doing that whole ass shit. But we let that shit ride. 
So I'm able to admit now that I'm a man, now that I know what real is and I know I know the difference between real and fake and I know the difference between a leader and a follower and I know the difference between a man and a monkey. Uh, yeah, I can admit it now. We were soft for letting that shit go down. Another thing I want to point out, um, uh, yeah, GDs, uh, Muslims and Mandingos, them probably the only, them the most stand up black gangs in prison. You know, the Bloods and Cribs, those are the monkeys of the, you know, but GDs, they pretty organized. But the point I'm making is, GDs don't really fuck with, they, they beliefs ain't really nothing like the Crips. Uh, they started in a whole nother area. They started out there in Chicago and all this and that. And they really not friends. Um, so, but they was able, and what I'm saying, Shakur and Tank is not friends. You know? But they could come together with a handshake and throw down the five and disrespect blood and this and that there. And so it just reminds me of that. It's like, nah, I ain't, the GD saying, nah, I ain't a crip, but y'all got a handshake though. Y'all can come together against the blood. See, y'all can't come together against the white boy. The crips and the GDs couldn't come up with a handshake to disrespect the Tongo Blast. They couldn't come up with a handshake to disrespect the Peckerwood white boy or the Aaron Brotherhood or the white knights. But they had a hell of a handshake to disrespect the Bloods. And that's kind of how I feel about Tank and Devin Haney fans. Uh, that's all I wanted. This is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.